in a world dominated by legends, one name is about to rewrite history, Andre Daly. Hey, I'm Andre Daly. I joined Sutton United FC from the academy and now I'm trying to become part of the first team. I'm 19, a striker, and this is my journey to becoming the best. One day, I hope to play for Chelsea, my dream club. Every football legend has a beginning. Every dream starts with a single step. My journey from an academy hopeful to a future legend starts here. Driven by a single goal to become the best striker in the Premier League and play for Chelsea. But the road to greatness is never easy. Stepping onto the training ground for the first time, I felt a mix of excitement and nerves. This was my chance to prove myself. But right from the start, I knew it wasn't going well. I was off my game, struggling to find my footing. I came here with big dreams, but right now I'm falling short. The pressure to impress is weighing me down. As we wrapped up the training session, the coach called me over. My heart sank. Was this it? Was I about to be told I wasn't good enough after just one session? He looked me in the eye and said, Andre, you'll be on the bench for our next pre-season game. Be ready to come on and make an impact. I couldn't believe it. This was my chance to step onto the pitch in a professional game. The day of the pre-season match arrived. The stadium was buzzing with excitement. This was my chance to prove myself. At the 60th minute, the coach called my name. This was it. My heart raced as I pulled off my tracksuit and jogged to the sidelines. The crowd's noise was deafening as I stepped onto the pitch. The coach gave me a quick nod and I knew what I had to do. The pace of the game was intense. I struggled at first, feeling the pressure of the professional level, but I reminded myself of why I was here. Every touch, every pass, I focused on making it count. I could feel my confidence growing with each play. Minutes passed and I started to find my rhythm. I was getting more involved, creating chances and feeling like I belonged. The support for my teammates was incredible. They believed in me and that belief fueled my determination. I started setting up plays, making key passes that led to goals. It felt amazing to contribute. Then in the 85th minute, I saw my chance. I made a run, received the perfect pass, and with one swift move, I found the back of the net. The roar of the crowd was exhilarating. Just a few minutes later, in the 88th minute, I found another opening, another run, another pass, and another goal. The feeling was indescribable. And then in the 90th minute, the opportunity presented itself again. I seized it, drove the ball home, completing my hat-trick. It was the perfect end to an unforgettable match. The final whistle blew and we had secured a win. I was exhausted but happy. Scoring a hat-trick in my first professional match, a dream come true. Walking off the pitch, I knew this was just the beginning. There were many challenges ahead, but I was ready to face them all. This game taught me a lot about myself. The road to becoming a football legend is long and filled with obstacles, but with each step, I'm getting closer to my dream. Next up, more training, more matches and more opportunities to prove myself. Stay tuned as my journey continues. After the first pre-season game, I knew I had to push myself even harder. The coach had made me a promise. If I performed well in pre-season, I would become the captain to lead the team in EFL League 2. This was my chance to prove that I could handle the responsibility and lead Sutton United to success. Every morning, I was the first to arrive at the training ground. I knew that to be the best, I had to outwork everyone else. During the day, I pushed myself to the limit, focusing on every aspect of my game, from shooting and passing to fitness and tactics. When the sun set, I stayed back, practicing under the floodlights. Every shot, every draw brought me closer to my goal. The coach saw my dedication and believed in my potential. He reminded me of his promise, perform well in pre-season and I'd be the captain. This promise fueled my determination. I wasn't just training for myself, I was training to lead my team and to show that I deserved the armband.
The rest of pre-season flew by. Every training session, every match was a step towards my goal. In the second pre-season match, I continued to perform well, scoring crucial goals. My hard work on the training ground was paying off. By the final pre-season game, I had truly hit my stride. Scoring five goals in one match was a personal highlight and it earned me the respect of my teammates and the coach. True to his words, the coach saw my efforts and my progress. After the final preseason game, he made me the captain of Sutton United. It was an incredible honour. At 19, I was ready to lead my team into the new season. The real journey was just beginning. The first game of the season had arrived and I felt both positive and motivated. The manager's belief in me, a young boy from Croydon, South London, gave me all the drive I needed to prove that I was more than just a regular football player. Within 20 minutes, I scored my first EFL League 2 goal and boy, was I excited. All the excessive training was finally paying off. I even did my celebration that I had practiced in the mirror for weeks, inspired by my favourite footballer, Ronaldo. I pointed to my brain to say no one can stop me and covered my eyes because all I could see in front of me was the future. Me, the legend, playing for Chelsea, scoring screamer goals and having fans that believed in me. In the 27th minute, I scored another goal after receiving a pass from my teammate Coley. We trained together regularly, so we understood each other's runs to break down our opponents. Then a beautiful cross from Patrick into the box, and I managed to poke it into the goal with the tip of my right foot. I wanted to make a statement in this game. I was here to dominate EFL League 2, and no one could stop me. I felt like Superman. All I wanted was to become a legend. I didn't want to party like everyone else. I could tell I was impressing the coach and I knew he would reward me for my performance. Oh my gosh, another goal in the 38th minute, I was on fire. I had found my Super Saiyan form. Just after the 60th minute, I received the pass and dribbled through their defence. I saw Coley and crossed it to him in the box. He scored a wonderful volley. I wasn't only clinical, I was becoming a master in the final third when finding teammates. But then I started to get complacent and show off, making silly passes and shooting when I could have found another teammate. This was an area of the game that I needed to work on. The game ended 6-1. I scored four goals and received the match ball. But this was just the beginning. I needed to work harder. This first game showed me what I was capable of, but it also highlighted areas I needed to improve. The journey to becoming the best striker in the Premier League was just beginning. The hard work never stops. I was starting to make a name for myself, but Sutton United fans loved seeing me on the pitch performing. I was like their own Haaland, a young boy destined to take this team to promotion. For the very first time in history, Sutton United would be in the EFL League One. Scoring goals started to feel easy for me. I didn't need to try. I was making the right runs, seeing the correct passes to find my teammates. It felt like I was playing chess on the pitch. I kept on giving the Gillingham defence problems. They became scared every time I aggressively drove the ball forward. My second goal came in the 30th minute. I took a free kick outside the box, which hit the ball, but I quickly reacted and finessed the ball into the right hand corner. It felt incredible. In the 38th minute, I scored my third goal. I did a cheeky step over outside the box to get past one defender and then placed the ball into the left corner of the goal. Just before half-time, I scored my fourth goal with a finesse shot from outside the box. This game was feeling too easy. My final goal came in the 60th minute. I received a pass from my teammate, opened up the defence, ran past the defensive line and scored a beautiful goal placed from outside the box with my left foot. The game ended 7-0 and I couldn't have been happier with our performance. Despite my stellar performances, I noticed the manager was watching me closely, almost worried. The pressure to keep performing at this level was immense. He pulled me aside one day after training. He told me, Andre, you're doing great, but you need to be careful. The physical and mental demands of this league can be overwhelming. Pace yourself and don't burn out. It hit me hard. I had been so focused on proving myself that I hadn't realised how much I was pushing my limits. The journey to becoming a legend wasn't just about raw talent. It was also about resilience and smart play.
The journey was just getting started. With every game I was getting closer to my dream, but the road ahead was still long and filled with challenges. Thanks for watching this episode of Future Legend, The Rise of Andre Daly. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode as we continue our journey in EFL League 2. Let's see what challenges and triumphs await on the road to becoming the best.